hello everyone hello everyone on the other side um, so today I've decided to have a little talk about uh, finding my own uh, art medium um, I thought this might be helpful for uh, other other artists kind of wondering what they would like to do and um, maybe interested how how I found mine um, so I started art at school uh, which probably was was helpful with trying out different paints different styles of uh, of painting or um, trying pens pencils inks when i actually started i didn't like painting i preferred um, drawing uh, but at the time i didn't know yet what i would like to uh, be. I actually started uh, painting portraits at first, that was kind of my first love, portraits and like abstract portraits from imagination, that was the first, um, first painting I started and I also actually painted for my friends, their portraits, I've always been quite good in um, kind of capturing the reality so I could still use my style of abstract but uh, paint portrait of someone this way but I, d I didn't do any like uh, commission portraits at all I was just doing either imaginary portraits which um, looking back I don't I'm not very proud of them <laughs> I'm proud of the ones which were actually my friends so th I can see the similarity which it's funny when I was painting him at the time I, I actually wasn't sure if the simul similarities are there but looking back at them I see that they actually are which which is really nice um, but yes I was painting this um, imaginary kind of faces and abstracts I might, I might pop some of the examples here and uh, I'm not very proud of them now you probably won't find them anywhere <laughs> anywhere online um, but what I used to do uh, were acrylics uh, I use acrylics on canvases and quite large canvases I always kind of preferred larger surface uh, for painting I haven't actually started my art business yet it was most mostly like kind of trying to figure out what I want painting for mostly for my own <laughs> pleasure I've done a couple of exhibitions um, but I was not selling um, selling the canvases and I was moving quite a lot so I found managing this way of, of painting quite uh, difficult. The canvas was not the best for storage or moving, um, quite fragile, the, they could get like dense in them and I have to repair it. I also have like a humidity issue in, in the previous flat and during like a hot summer the, the canvases were stacked too close together and um, unfortunately got mold in them so I have to, I actually throw away some of my work. Um, it's always nice to see how how we progress and develop our skills and, and change so they they're kind of part of my uh, history and they have uh, space in my heart um, and I do actually like that they were um, they came from imagination which um, which I think is not always easy to do. So I was um, living in a small studio at the time, which was lovely, but it was tiny, so I didn't have much space. So I was trying to figure out like, what can I do now? Like I can't paint um, anymore on the canvas because it's just not space sufficient. Like I, I can, uh, I don't have a place to put them. If, if I was selling them regularly, if I knew they were just going to sell, um, then yes, but if I'm just collecting them inside my space, I found it really difficult. So what I discovered is um, I saw a lot of artists painting on MDF board, so um, I've purchased some of them and I was painting with acrylics, which was nice, it was different. It was amazing for the storage because I could just flat put them flat one on top of each other. And also I was uh, painting on wood, uh, which was similar. I just um, needed to, to prime the MDF and the wood with, with gesso. And it was perfect. It is a bit a different, different feeling because the canvas is just softer, smoother. It, it just felt a bit like, 
oh, a bit dry surface, a bit more. So done, I've done quite a few paintings like this, but at the end of the day, I I do did miss like the flu, the fluid movement of the paint, and to have a bit more more like a softer softer look so i was painting like this way and then i don't know how I actually i came across um a watercolor palette which i think i maybe i someone gave it to me or i've won a competition on instagram and i, I think i think it was a competition so i received this tiny watercolor palette and also uh, I think like a watercolor pencils and I purchased some paper and I've tried watercolors before and I I really didn't like the watercolors before but I've tried again and I just fall in love with it I mean after I feel like after painting on like a, a, a really a stiff and, and strong surface I loved how the water just flows and mixes and I mean you have control but you not always have control it just, just felt very freed and painting with like just a paste and which just stacks into the uh, into the board so I really fall in love with watercolors and I mean that little little palette I've used it I mean so much it's actually it's amazing how many paintings you can do in watercolors so with just like a tiny palette so i found watercolors oh this is great this is i love how it mixes i love the feeling of it and i love how sufficient they are i can just paint on paper and uh, i can store it so easily and the paints just last me so long <sighs> So I thought, yes, I found my medium. So ever since, for the last two years now, I've been using watercolors. I do recommend you trying different paints. Even if you think you don't like it, just try, because I have no idea that I would like watercolors. So uh, it's my favorite medium now. Actually, my favorite medium is um, mixing. So I will paint with watercolors, I will add acrylics, and I'll finish with the pens. So yes, I found my favorite medium this way. I feel like I was kind of forced to downsize. Um, but at the same time, I discovered how I love my love for watercolors. Um, I still want to explore different techniques. I've seen like the inks and alcohol inks. I'm just not a fan of painting with, with things which are harmful for health because I do um, have asthma so I would like to trigger it I, I just would like to not to breathe in any fumes um, so I'm, I wouldn't like to like paint in a mask or something like that but I'm willing to try uh, some other techniques so good news I'll be moving to a bigger space so uh, I can paint outside as well so I'm really looking forward to this um, Maybe you can recommend some techniques which are similar to, or some mediums which are similar to watercolors, but which can be maybe a bit more vibrant and uh, which you can use on the larger surfaces. I'm also excited to try uh, painting on canvases again. So, um, yeah, so that's how I found it. So, I mean, you shouldn't um, really. Um, just box yourself I think in one style I still want to try different things I really want to try sculpting as well um, it's just whatever I think you can allow yourself to to do at the moment um, and find join within um, the process maybe I'll say a little bit how how I'm doing um, social media never really worked for me because um, if you know um, my paintings I paint lots of abstract nudes which are not um, offensive in a way but they are being censored on um, social media most of the time my reach is suppressed uh, and not visible for any new uh, any non-followers so I, I'm really struggling with uh, making any content uh, for like Instagram or TikTok um, I do try, I make, I still make content, but I, I treat it more as like an addition to my website so that I can link the videos to the products and 
then the person can actually see a video of the process of uh, making uh, this painting just to make sure that it's like all human handmade which is nice so I try to create contact like this so then I can link it with my Instagram TikTok um, I've never really liked TikTok to be honest everyone are telling me like you should go on TikTok I just really struggle with very f that fast-paced uh, video content I'm not a fan um, I'd rather just have someone posting a picture of a painting and then I can admire it but I know those times are gone like they are mostly videos I am trying but I'm not enjoying it so I started YouTube uh, recently as well a bit more uh, YouTube and um, some marketing uh, on Google and just working on my websites to make sure that it performs well uh, it's an e-commerce site that I've created myself um, I've just been working more on this which I never really spent much time on I used to just create and post on Instagram and just have that website which to be honest it, it wasn't ready for for a very long time the website wasn't ready this year I've really pushed I'm happy with the website maybe for the last three months I've never was really happy with it and I have seen some sales which is amazing I saw quite a few prints and a few originals and um, it is growing um, so the sales are coming maybe every week or every other week which is not a full-time um, a full-time income but I mean it's amazing because I've never had such engagement um, not from Instagram not from TikTok and I'm so grateful I'm so happy um, I hope you this was useful to you if you have any questions about how I do the marketing um, at the moment on Google or anything I'm still learning myself uh, I've done lots of lots of learning um, send me a message and thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!